This is the mid-2009 13-inch MacBook Pro. If you are in the market for a laptop and are looking to purchase a used one, this may be the one for you. Hey what is up guys, today I'll be doing a review of my mid-2009 MacBook Pro 7 years later. So let's get started. This laptop was released on June 8, 2009. My model has an Intel Core 2 dual processor clocked at 2.53 GHz with 4 GB of DDR3 RAM and a 250 GB SSD or solid state drive. It also has an Nvidia GeForce 9400M graphics chip which is backed up by 256 MB of video card RAM. Now in terms of performance, this laptop is much better than what you would expect. A lot of people seem to believe that Macs become obsolete after about 4-5 to five years of usage, but I'm here to tell you that my 7 year old MacBook Pro still runs like a champ. Yes, intensive video editing and other high demanding computing tasks will bog down the computer quite a bit, but overall the performance is a solid 7.5 out of 10. It is able to play back high definition videos, surf the web, export videos, and do other various tasks with no problems at all. The replacement of the hard drive with the SSD really helps out and I recommend that if you do decide to purchase a used MacBook Pro, be sure to upgrade that hard drive to a solid state drive. Trust me, it makes all the difference. In terms of multitasking, it does get the job done. With 4GB of RAM, it is able to have multiple desktops open as well as multiple applications running at the same time. But I would recommend upgrading the RAM to 8GB in order to get the maximum performance that you're looking for. Overall, seeing as how this is a 7 year old laptop, the performance is superb. And for the average user, this will definitely get the job done. Next up we have the battery life of this laptop. This unfortunately is where the laptop falls short. Now the battery life with any laptop or smartphone will diminish over time. This device is no exception. As of right now, I get about 4-5 to five hours with light usage which includes things like watching videos, word processing, listening to music, and web surfing. And that's with about 50% brightness and the backlit on the keyboard being off. Now if I was doing more intensive tasks, like having multiple applications running at the same time, like video and photo editing, watching movies, downloading, etc. with max brightness and the backlit keyboard on, I'd say I get about an hour and a half to two hours tops. That being said, the battery life on this machine is still decent and replacing it is not very hard and fairly inexpensive. By replacing the battery, I'm sure the battery life will increase significantly, possibly up to 7 to 8 hours worth. Now the display. This MacBook Pro has a resolution of 1280 by 800 which is pretty good for a 13 inch laptop. Text may not be very sharp, especially when word processing, but videos and pictures still look great on this machine and I believe it is good enough for the average user. Viewing angles are also great and the screen can get very bright. Overall, a fantastic display for a 7 year old laptop. In terms of the overall usage of the laptop, including the use of the keyboard, trackpad, camera, and connectivity options, the laptop is able to deliver. The keyboard is still one of the best out there with great travel and great feeling. The trackpad is nice and large and has very handy gestures, which to me seems like the Mac does better than any other laptop out there. The camera is not great by any means, but will get the job done in terms of things like video chatting. In terms of the connectivity, it does have a lot to offer. It has two USB ports, an SD card reader, a headphone microphone combo jack, a mini display port which does support high resolution screens, a firewire port, an ethernet port, and the beloved CD slash DVD drive, which I still use to this day. The only thing missing is an HDMI port, but an adapter can be purchased to resolve that. Also, one more thing to note, this laptop also has the battery indicator on the side of the laptop, which is a feature that is greatly missed on the newer generation of MacBooks. Moving on to the portability of this laptop, it is pretty portable because of its 13 inch size, but it's also very heavy, and I mean 4.5 pounds heavy. 
It may be a struggle carrying this around to school or to work every day, but it isn't too bad. The screen size is still amazing for on the go, but as long as you don't mind the weight, you'll be all good. In general, the mid-2009 13-inch MacBook Pro is still a great machine. It has solid performance with the upgraded SSD, great connectivity options, an amazing keyboard and trackpad, decent quality screen, and still supports all the applications that you may need. Not to mention the ability to upgrade this MacBook and its nifty features like the CD drive and battery life indicator. As long as you're not too worried about the bad battery which can be replaced in order to increase battery life, or the weight of the laptop or the not so good camera, this laptop will be a great purchase for you. Just make sure that the physical condition of the laptop is at least in okay shape, but otherwise this laptop will do you justice.